All right, guys. As you can see, it is well past sunset on a Friday night here in Southern Louisiana. So do us a solid, smash that like button and subscribe for us. We'd really appreciate it. Hey gang, it's Paul with Stud Pack. Welcome back to our channel. As you can see, I'm standing in front of a huge tree that was blown over by Hurricane Ida that stormed through here about five days ago. Thank you for all your questions and your comments about our safety. We're all doing fine, but many people down here still are not. It's been five, six days after that storm rolled through here. Just imagine going almost a week, no power, no internet no refrigerators you can't cook your food and you're out of food no, no stop ac lights. stop lights no gasoline. don't work no gasoline even if you have a generator we have a friend who went to mississippi this morning just to buy fuel so patients are running a little thin so because of all that our podcast is going to be delayed a week I promise we're going to post it next weekend and if you guys missed the first announcement then you all know right. send your questions in send your projects in we're looking to help as many people as possible so where are they going to send it dad stud pack podcast at gmail.com yes sir but we have a great project for you today let's jump right in the house and we'll show you what we're doing all right kitchen's looking great almost ready for countertops but today's project is actually in this bathroom so i'm gonna give you a couple seconds gang what bugs me so much in this bathroom that i have to change it take a look around what do you see it's this toilet. Look how close it is to that wall. What? Now maybe the plumber thought, well, after you go to the bathroom in the morning, you got plenty of room right here to do your calisthenics, right? That was that's exactly what a plumber was thinking. That's what he was that's what a plumber was thinking. And our number one rule is if Buzz Lightyear can't fit between the toilet and the wall, that toilet is too close. So we're gonna take this toilet out of here, take the vanity out just to give us some room, and we're gonna move that toilet over enough. So there's plenty of room around the sides of it. Let's do it, man. We're on a slab, so we're gonna cut some concrete today. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we got the toilet out of here, got the vanity out of here, got all kind of room to work now. So our next step is to remove that flange. I need to remove the flange because I'm gonna use my circular saw to make a score cut, full depth, just like that, around the edges so we can chip out the concrete. If the flange is still there, this is gonna ride on top of the flange and I won't get full depth of cut. So it's easier just to get this out of our way then the shoe will sit on the slab and it's gonna make it much easier getting all this concrete out of here. And that'll result in a, a smaller hole as well. Right, and so once that concrete's out of here, we can change that three inch pipe. I got all the new stuff sitting in the truck. All right guys, let's get this flange out of here. I'm gonna pull this rag out. Don't worry, I don't need gloves for this part of it. I'm gonna set that right there and, oh shit, dude, that is four inch pipe. I could have sworn that was three inch. Everything I bought is three inch. So you know what that means? We got to go burn gas. We don't have run to the store, brave those traffic lights that aren't working and kill an hour on a Friday afternoon. All right. Uh, Can't cry about it. I should have known better. Yeah. I can tell four inch from three inch just like that. I've been working with it all my life. It must have been dark in here or something. Oh, well, let's right. head to the store. All right. All right, bud. Four inch, three inch. Got it? Good, got it? Got it, good. Let's get to work. All right, guys, got the right size pipe. Our next step, like we said before, we gotta get this flange out of here. I'm just using an internal pipe cutter like that, chucked into my cordless drill. Always stuff a rag in the pipe in case this thing lets loose, in case the chuck lets go, this thing won't go down inside the sewer. We're just gonna start right here below this collar right there and cut through the pipe and work our way around and get this flange out of here. All right, gang, this thing isn't working too well. You don't have much of a depth of cut right here. So I'm gonna go grab the buzz saw and get that thing out of here. Alright gang, the buzzsaw came in clutch again. We got that flange removed. We're ready to cut the slab, but before we do that, we gotta know how much to cut out. That's four inch pipe, and like we showed you at the truck, these fittings are pretty big. We found out that if I use two standard four inch 45s like that, it's too tall. In other words, this part's gonna be sticking above the slab. So what we're gonna do is use two streets. This is a street fitting, female by male. We're gonna put another street here, and that's gonna give us the clearance. So now that we got that figured out, we're gonna lay out our cut line here and start cutting this slab. All 
right guys, my Porter cable model 743 did it again, cut through that concrete. What is that? Just a little over two inches of depth of cut. And yeah guys, you saw me, I was pouring water on the blade, but this is a double insulated tool. The motor's dry. I'm plugged into a ground fault. I'm wearing gloves. I'm totally comfortable doing this, but that part is done. I think I say we clean up, go get our concrete removal tools, our assortment of chisels and sledges I've bought, brought, and let's see what gets us through this concrete. All right, gang, we bought a bunch of tools to try to get this out of here. They make specialty stuff, big chipping hammers and everything. I don't have any of that. I'm just trying to use what I have. So the first one up is a pneumatic chipper. And my only goal with this is to break through this perimeter right here, which should be pretty easy. Let me mask up and get it going. All right, that little chip and hammer did a good job on the perimeter. Now, we should be using a big chip and hammer like we've done before. All the rental yards are closed, guys. Most of them don't have any power. So we're just trying to get this done after the uh, aftermath of this hurricane. So what do you say we get the sledgehammer, see if we start getting this out of here. All right, you wanna try smashing that? Yep. Okay. And uh, we got our tempered shower door protected over here. So the little shard doesn't go flying. And now we're buying a door. I don't know about that sledge dude well you know what the owner brought over a big chipping hammer and i looked in there but all it was was drill bits but hmm. maybe we could use that and drill through and weaken that I, i'm game let's go check and it then out. we can try and smash yep. it look at that guy okay that's, that's what i'm like, talking about that's just like the ones we've used right but like i said just all kind of drill bits oh look at that oh. Woo. what is that Some sort of spearhead like a twisted spearhead <laughs> that'll do it all over our new floor. <laughs> That'll make easy work of it. All right, guys, I'm through. If you've ever done something like this, First time you get through the slab, you feel like half the battle's over. Let's keep going. There's our pile of dirt. That's huge. We got this all opened up. Got the concrete out of here and there's our pipe exposed. So now we're going to start removing pipe. First thing we got to do is get rid of this part right here. We're going to make a cut at the top of this hub way down here and remove it from the hub on up. I'm just going to try my buzz saw, cut around there and get that pipe out of there. Let's give it a go. That one too bad. Our next trick is to get this piece of pipe out of the hub like we talked about. We've done this many times before. We've used a jigsaw. We've drilled holes. I think we're just going to try the buzz saw. Okay. Gordon, what do you think? Putting right? the thing through the, yep. the tests. Yep. I think you just down, go straight down. Straight yeah. down. Straight down. See if we can save it. Yep.
All right, gang, we've tried all our tricks down here. What's working the best for us is to drill a series of holes through that old piece of pipe that's inside the hub. And I got this old beater chisel. It's a lot sharper than this cold chisel and it's knocking out that little section. So going forward, we're just gonna drill a series of holes and knock it out with that little chisel and then clean it up on the inside with some sandpaper. And we should have about an inch of that hub left to glue the new piece of pipe in there anyway. Now we had to cut it down anyway because we didn't have enough altitude. We'll explain that later, but let's finish working on this hub and get it cleaned out inside. I think this might be a rare stud pack video where when we finish, it's gonna be dark. That's right. <laughs> Almost there, bud. Hey, you got it. Alrighty, gang. I know if you're a plumber, you probably tuned out a long time ago, but this is where it gets personal. It's just you against the pipe and you're gonna win. I don't wanna risk cracking that hub. So I actually have this little diamond wheel and I have a few more places I gotta get off and get smooth. So I'm just gonna use that instead of risk cracking this. Right. So let's just do a little grinding, see what happens. You know, when dad says, let's see what happens, <laughs> he's, it's, it's in shambles. Yes. Alright guys, we got it done. This Street 90 now fits in that hub. It's a little shorter hub now, but that's going to be okay. If you're one of those guys who reads the plumbing code book at night to put you to sleep, you probably want to click off this now if you haven't already. But this is, a, this is the point guys where it's Friday night. We got to get this done with the tools we have. Now remember I said we cut the hub. That's this part or this. This is the hub. Now this is a Street 90. This fits in the hub because we cut the hub. How many times can I say hub? We're gonna cut this part too to make this lower because we need all the height we can get right now. I mean, look, it's like sticking up pretty high above our slab right now, yep. so. So I'm in. Yeah. So if we cut three quarters off of that, we drop another three quarter. Mm -hmm. So I said we go cut that, test fit it, and see where we stand. All right. Not bad, freehand. Now we're talking. Now we bottomed out. All right. Not nope. quite. Nope, but we can cut this one. Yep. But I'm liking that. Cool. All right, gang, that fits really nice. As discouraged as I was a little while ago, now I'm really encouraged that we can get this joint made up. So now we got to cut this hub because as you can see, it's above the slab. So we've got our trusty paint stirrer straight edge. <laughs> I'm going to make a mark right there. It's even with the slab. And now we're going to cut this hub on that mark. Yeah, that's it right there. <laughs> They're cheering you. They're yeah. cheering for you. All right, this is the male end we cut off. So we're gonna go ahead and glue these two together like that. And then our toilet flange is made to go inside a piece of four inch pipe. So as you can see, that's too loose. So we actually had some four inch pipe. We're gonna glue that in there as a, uh, oops. wait. What about this guy? Right. Here we go. I should be in heat. I should be in a hot tub in Texas right now. It's a little loose. But that's, that's what we the, need. That's the idea. Yeah. All right, that'll work. That little piece is the drop from from that. Yeah. Yep. Right. So we'll glue it all the way in here and then we'll cut it off on our mark. It's hard to film what you're doing when you're figuring out what you're right. doing. Right. Taking right. you guys along for the journey. This is how it goes sometimes. What a journey it is. All right. All right, let's do this first. All right. A simple one. All right. They give you marks on here lined up with. See that? Yep. Do that right. Looks like it. Let's glue this piece in there. Cut it. Ready to glue it up. Wow. Back 
to the chop saw. Now we gotta cut this because we cut that. One more cut and we glue it up. And I can tell we're right where we are. Yeah, that's be. looking nice. Man, never give up. I wanted to give up and quit, but Jordan gave me that look. You know what look it was? What? I'm gonna tell a little story. I'm the one that had to be in the Main Street Parade at Disneyland because I was the only one wearing the proper shoes. And you and your sister looked up at me like, let's go, Dad. You gave me that look. Let's go, Dad. Let's get it done. Cool. Let's glue this up. Mix up some concrete. Yep. Here we go. Boom. Little twist. Twist back. Right where I want it. Oop, done. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right, let's glue this guy in. All right. I'm happy with yeah. that. Never give up. <laughs> all right, Jane, our hole is filled with all that dirt. Tamped it down with a two by four. Our last step, head outside and mix some concrete in the dark. Let's go out there and start mixing. Has a, it's like a roller coaster. Yeah, the turds are gonna have fun. Yeah, they are. <laughs> They're gonna be like, ooh. <laughs> All right, gang, that came out great. We moved that thing five inches and it took about five hours and two extra trips to the store. So you could say we moved it about an inch an hour. Was That's about how it? fast we were traveling when we were evacuating. That's right, an inch an hour. But was it worth it? I think so. I mean, instead of being on the toilet like this, you know, now you got some room. Right. That's gonna be great. And we are going to clear the angle stop. A lot of you are going to comment that this is going to hit the back of the bowl. We checked it. It's going to be tight. We should fit. And Buzz Lightyear is going to be really happy now because he has all kind of room. Now, i got to be honest, this job was pretty tough. I'm pretty exhausted, and it didn't go as well as we planned. But we got it done, and it's going to be great. So if you haven't smashed that like button already, be sure to do that for us. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe also if you haven't done that. Oh, you're doing all right. All right. You got it. And if you haven't done it already, please smash that like button for us. It means a lot. Subscribe if you haven't done that. Ask us a question, drop us a comment down below, and we'll see you guys on our next video.